We all know you can buy cloud storage from Google and Apple and Microsoft, but these places also have unrestricted access to your data and can also give access to other people if, for example, a country's government forces them to provide access. So here are five cloud storage services that are more secure that you might not know about, including one of them that costs just a few bucks a year, which is just nuts. None of these providers have access to your data. They can't see your files or give access to your files to other people. They're in no particular order. Now, if there was a service here that you might have heard of, the first one is probably the one. Now, this one used to be called Mega Upload, and it was one of the most popular places to go when you wanted to download dodgy copies of the latest films. But legal access was taken, changes were made, the name changed, and now what's known as just Mega has now done something a few other providers have really done really by capping your transfer bandwidth. Now that means that say on their two terabyte plan, you can't transfer more than two terabytes because doing this will then deter those from just uploading a pirated movie and sharing the link with all their mates because that two terabyte cap will be reached pretty, pretty quickly. Pretty, pretty quickly. Pricing for Mega is £8.86 for two terabytes or £17.53 for eight terabytes or £26.29 for 16 terabytes. Now I'm assuming that those are direct dollar conversion rates as those figures are very precise. So pricing may of course vary from country to country. Now I will try and show these in a table on the screen as we go along, which may or may not work and pop up on the screen now, perhaps comparing prices for a particular size storage across each service. With Mega, you get zero knowledge encryption as defaults, though just be aware that when you share files with other people, those files then become unencrypted because, well, they need to be seen by other people who don't know your encryption keys. They also provide features such as camera roll upload, backup and file versioning, but also unique features like encrypted video conferencing and online chats and a custom rubbish bin cleaning, which basically just empties the recycle bin when you want it to. Downloading the handy Mega app gives you access and control over your uploads and downloaded files, and you can opt to keep everything in the cloud and stream files locally, all whilst keeping your data secure. Now, Mega does have some questionable background. More on that will be linked down below this video, but technically speaking, the product is sound. Next up, we have iDrive. iDrive gives you five terabytes of space for 79.50 per year, or 10 terabytes for 99.50 per year. But like I mentioned earlier, for the crazy, crazy price of just $7.95, for the whole first year, you can get five terabytes of space. So if you just want the cheapest, most secure option and you have less than five terabytes of space, then this one absolutely wins. Very similar to the big names, you can sync your files between your computer and the cloud, including across mobile devices. You can also share files with anybody without having to have them sign up to their own iDrive account. And you can password protect those files, set download limits, and configure how long the shared links will work for. And you can also use iDrive to back up your Mac or your PC, including external USB hard drives and NAS devices. I would recommend setting your own encryption key here when setting up your account. You can to use an automatically generated one, but there is a chance that iDrive themselves will then know what it is and be able to get access to your data. For the price, I actually use iDrive as a second backup for you know all my photos and videos on my mobile devices. For under $8 a year, it is an absolute no-brainer for me. Now, if you want more than five terabytes, then one of the next ones might be a better option. PCloud offers similar security features to OneDrive, but they have a unique approach with the option of buying a lifetime plan. So either £175 for 500 gig, £350 for two terabytes, or £990 for 10 terabytes. Now, these are one-off costs and for up to 10 terabytes of space, it's actually a pretty good price considering you'll never pay anything ever again. If you wanted to go beyond this, then you can get unlimited storage by moving to their business pro plan, which starts from three users at £20 each per month. So for £60 per month, you can get totally unlimited storage. Now, similar to others, pCloud does limit the amount of data you can consume via the shared links. Now, these limits are pretty generous and are typically only there to stop you from using you know, their storage space to share and stream video content and basically, I imagine, stop people from playing and sharing illegally downloaded content. pCloud is secure, but isn't zero knowledge encryption unless you're on their business plan, you'll need to add their pCloud crypto service on top of your product to get that, which then costs an additional $4 per month. And only then can you then set and control like the encryption and decryption keys. You get other features like automatic upload of your mobile phone's camera roll to securely back up all your treasured photos and videos. And like Google Drive, pCloud also acts as a virtual drive, allowing you to easily access all of the files stored in the cloud without actually being synced and stored locally to your computer. And you can, of course, manually select files or folders that you do wish to store locally to make them easier to work on. pCloud also includes built-in media players for audio and video content, so you can then watch or you know maybe listen to content directly in the browser without needing to download it locally. You do get 30 days of file version history or 180 days on their business plan, and with an account rewind feature that lets you roll back your account just in case you do get you know a nasty virus or lose files 
somehow. Lastly, for pCloud, you get the ability to back up files directly from other services like Dropbox, Google Drive, Facebook, OneDrive, and Google Photos. Next up is another personal favorite of mine, Sync.com, who charge a flat $8 per month for two terabytes and $20 for six terabytes, but they also have an unlimited storage option available for just $15 with a minimum of two users. So for 30 bucks per month, totally unlimited storage. This actually makes sync.com one of the cheapest places to get secure and zero knowledge unlimited cloud storage. Unlike pCloud, there are no transfer limits and in terms of features, they're pretty head to head with Dropbox actually, which is saying a lot for them. There's also no additional fee to secure your data with zero knowledge encryption right out of the box. And sync also checks a ton of compliance boxes when it comes to you know the likes of GDPR and, and HIPAA regulations. There's also a very good standard 180 day history which goes right up to 365 days on the unlimited plan and it's easy to restore files or roll back your entire account. Sync also provides an absolute ton of sharing features, read-only access, links that expire after dates or numbers of time accessed, restricting downloads, password protection, remote wipe for shared files, and there's also features like comments, document previews for common formats for Office and PDF documents, full Microsoft 365 support, camera roll uploads, and the ability to have your files mounted as a folder on your computer that doesn't then consume a ton of space on your local hard drive, but still, again, like with others, have the ability to selectively sync certain files for offline use. There are just a ton more features that I can't get through in this one video, but Sync is yet another great option for those wanting a more privacy-focused cloud storage service. And my personal recommendation, if you just want something that's secure with unlimited cloud storage, then that's your best bet. iStrive is next here. They've taken a similar approach to pCloud. One terabyte for 333 per month, five terabytes for £14.17 per month. Odd price, again, I'm guessing dollar pound conversion rates there. Or switch to their lifetime plans and you can get three terabytes for £449 or 10 terabytes for £899. All of this includes the zero knowledge encryption and there's no additional monthly fee like there is with pCloud. With iStrive, you can still share files with password protection or time restrictions around their access. And there are similar features too to you know, others we've seen here. Mount your storage as a virtual hard drive on your computer so it doesn't consume a huge amount of space locally, yes. Though this only seems to be available on Windows machines and not Mac, according to the website. But they do have a Mac and Windows app for what they call their portable app, which lets you access your storage on Windows, Mac and even Linux actually, which gives you access to your files, plus features like streaming, built-in media players for video and audio and document preview for you know, all the popular formats. My recommendation on this one is if you want a lifetime plan where you just pay once whilst also being zero knowledge, then this is a very good choice for you. Links to get these are down below along with any discounts I can find. And if you want to know more about these services, you can see them here. Thank you. Bye-bye.